The Excel file and the PowerPoint slides used for this lecture are available on my homepage under the CSC 2111 link, and they're also available on Carmen and Canvas, which is the learning management system used by OSU. Please follow along with the PowerPoint slides as I talk about each subject. The rank function returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers. Syntax rank.eq number comma ref comma order. Notice the order argument is in brackets, meaning it is optional. The number argument is the number whose rank you want to find. The ref argument is the array or range of values to rank. And the order argument is a number specifying how to rank the numbers. If you put a zero or you omit the final argument or the order argument, it will rank the cells in descending order. With this argument, we say that zero is the default value, meaning if you don't put the order argument, then it will automatically rank it in descending order. So we call that a default value. If you input a one, for that argument, it will rank your list in ascending order. Here we have a list of our properties and we have a tenant satisfaction survey. In column F, we have a rant, excuse me, in column E, we have an overall average for the survey. In column F, we want to rank our apartment complexes based on their overall score. I'm going to type in equals rank dot eq. Okay, the number that I want to rank in this case is in cell E3 because at this point I'm ranking the Lake Shore Realty properties. I'm ranking it with all of the other property scores. Because I want to rank the list in ascending order, I will put a 1 as the final argument. When I copy this down, I want the range to stay the same, so I need to put a dollar sign in front of the 3 and a dollar sign in front of the 7. And then I can copy it down. So the Lakeshore Realty property has the highest score so it ranks 5. Belmont and Heritage both rank 4.0, which is the next highest score. Notice they tie, so they both have a 3 in the ranking. And there is no 4. Fairview Apartments rank next in line. And finally, Swan Lake Apartments have the lowest rank. Let's go back to cell F3, and let's say I wanted to rank this in descending order. Just put a zero here for the argument. And now it will rank it in ascending order. Lake Shore is the highest with a 1. Belmont and Heritage, again, they tie with a 2. There is no 3 because we have a tie. Fairview is 4 in the rank. And Swan Lake Apartments is 5. Notice if I take off 0, the default value is 0, so it will rank it in descending order. Uh, don't ever end an argument list with a comma. So when I have the default value in here, I didn't put the last argument, so I didn't put a comma. Uh, 